Alright everyone, it is me, Johnson Chan. I forgot to plug in the microphone. Oh well. So I'm starting a little bit late because I slept late again last night. Uh, woke up a little bit late, but yeah, I feel mostly refreshed. So it was a good enough night's sleep. Uh, that's the beauty of working at home. You know, I uh, lied in my bed for like an hour after I kind of woke up around 8.20 a.m., 8 a.m. I guess. I just kept thinking, like, you know, what's my future game company going to be like? You know, when I have my, like, little headquarters in Tampa, Florida, right? I'm going to have a whole nice building. I'm going to have real estate. It's going to be nice, right? We're all going to be coding uh, or drawing, right? Because I'll, cause also I'll probably want to outsource, well, not outsource, but bring in-house an actual dedicated, like, graphics artist. So, you know, we can have customizations for looks. We'll have animations and all that stuff, right? So, you know, it just won't look uh, as overly simplistic as survive.io is. Uh, but of course, I'll probably start out like that, right? I mean, technically, the animation's not that hard. So I'll probably just try to implement uh, animation. It just won't look uh, the best, right? It's going to be weird, right? Because the icon's going to look great. The Twitter's going to look great. Uh, the logo's going to look great. You actually play the game. It's like this <laughs> shitty 2D thing with with pre-built graphics but it's kind of like how it has to start out so it's like all right you know it, it is what it is hey i'm just one guy right and like i'm literally just trying to figure stuff out so yeah so i wound up playing tarkov yesterday and yeah i wound up kidding because there's literally no other game like it which is what makes it frustrating so i decided you know what i'm just gonna play like a pure can't say the word because community guidelines based youtube so uh but think of like a loser a cuck, a prick, and uh, certain things that you can no longer criticize, all those things combine into a three-letter word that begins with the letter F, right? And you can't say it anymore, uh, which is irritating. But, you know, eventually, you know, free speech will win in the end. Hopefully soon, right? You know, I don't want to be an old man when we win the free speech wars. And then, uh, yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing. So basically, I'm just camping, all right? Because that's basically how the game is designed. I, I just camp, right? Like, depending on where I spawn, there's one particular spawn that is, like, so bad on the map. Actually, I'll show you what it is. That I really wish they would actually change this, because this is actually a real problem. Uh, yeah, this one's pretty good. Uh, no. Uh, open image and new tab. Uh, what are these arrows? Oh, I've never seen this. I don't know what was one twenty-five meters for. Oh, oh, that's interesting. Someone actually did an in-game distance uh, measurement of the map. So it's four hundred meters tall, seven hundred meters across the diagonal from corner to corner. Wow, interesting. Anyway, there is a spawn point right here. In the upper right corner that's literally in the middle of nowhere with practically no loot and it's basically an open field this is the worst spawn in the map and i kept getting this stupid retarded spawn repeatedly so i actually died a lot of times not surprisingly because this is basically a death sentence uh and it's just so stupid it's like there's a lot of things in this game that have this kind of stupid mechanic where there's nothing you can do and then you just die it's like it's like bad game design and you know it's it's just it's it's so frustrating it's so frustrating so anyway i died because i got because i i was trying to find an exit over here i just couldn't see it and then some asshole was right behind me and bum rushed this uh, guard tower so basically i was completely trapped between the guard tower and the fucking wall that i couldn't get through hey because walls work obviously uh because there's supposed to be a hole in the wall and the map says there is one but i couldn't find it so I, I don't know, maybe uh, they changed it, maybe, and patched it out, and then it's not updated in the new maps. And then, of course, the NPC scavs were below me. I was completely surrounded in open field, and of course, I just get fucking destroyed. Uh, so, yeah. But, but for the most part, you know, I just run ultra low budget with, like, garbage, and uh, I actually get my stuff back, right? I'm, um, and because, of, because I'm camping the whole time... Even if I die, there's only like a couple minutes left in the game, so there's no, so no one's gonna loot it because if they loot me, that means they're not gonna make it out to the uh, extraction point in time, and then they'll die too. So I get my stuff back. So it's a it's a very safe way to play. I kind of hate it because what's the point of leveling up and getting new gear, right? There, there is no point, and and that's kind of like the design problem I want to avoid. 
But I was, so I did my maintenance, video game maintenance stuff today. I logged into Tarkov to get my stuff. And to my surprise, I actually got a lot of my actual semi-decent gear back. Uh, which made me realize, you know, I, I think I will have a warranty system uh, where you get stuff back. But I want to make it different. Because I think, because it made me realize, um, psychology-wise, because uh, there's something called myopic loss aversion, and this is what, what I, this is what I was getting at. Myopic loss aversion. So relatively, well, at the time, like ten years ago, it was considered uh, a relatively new concept in behavioral finance. Yeah, it sounds so fancy, doesn't it? Uh, myopic loss aversion occurs when investors take a view of their investment that's strongly focused on the short term, leading them to react too negatively to recent losses, which may be at the expense of long term benefits. This is actually not quite what I was uh, getting at. Let's see if some of these pictures might help. Uh, let's see. Maybe there's an illustration here. Hey, SpongeBob. Oh, we could always go with SpongeBob. Uh, okay. Let me see if we can get a uh, bigger picture here. Oh my god, you're... Thing. Okay. Yeah, this is exactly it. Okay, this is exactly what we want. Alright. So loss aversion, or myopic loss aversion, is loss disutility. 2x is greater than the gain utility. So, objectively speaking, you can lose 4 and gain 4. But when you gain, your pledge is only plus two points. But when you lose the same technical amount, in this case, minus four, right? It's the same thing. You've gained four and you lost four. So it's, you gain nothing and you lose nothing. Your perception is negative four, right? This is called loss aversion because our humans are trained to, th uh, to value losses at a greater amount than uh, gains of the same amount, right? I learned this a long time ago from the Kenneth Fisher book, uh, How to Invest by something like that, by doing what other investors do. He talked a lot about this. Uh, so Tarkov not only is a pretty well-designed Skinner's box, but it also uh, is pretty good at dealing with the loss aversion. The problem is they really hyperinflate their economy. All right, so I, I actually don't want to do hyperinflation. Uh, because that's why we have 2x2 two two and 404 coin. So, uh, so yeah, that's why I have, I'm going to try to create a, uh, uh, a, a looting warranty system. Because originally, I was going to have your backpack and your armored rig uh, that has container slots, obviously, and that's how you'll actually get your loot. Like, when you die, you lose the rig and the backpack, of course, but, and then of course all the loot, but now I'm thinking, excuse me, what if I have something where inside each of these containers, you get, you have a small chance to maybe have part of, part of, uh, that loot co uh, go with you, right? You know, and then, the st and then, and then, and then a death screen message, right? It says, you have died or even incapacitated, but thankfully you were, uh, your belongings, you know, had some salvage, like you definitely get salvage and like other currency, but you also get like, um, I don't know, I don't know why I call it loot in the game, but I guess we'll just call it loot, right? I'll have to, I'll have to find a different word, but basically I'll say, you know, your, your body was able to um, disassemble some of the loot, so it, it comes with you. So basically you get, you, 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 even if you die, you do extract with some loot. Um, of course, uh, I still have to consider that people will abuse and exploit that, right? They'll just rush the loot, then die, right? So, yeah. So, I'll definitely... <laughs> so, you know, it'll, it'll be interesting. So, I'll, I'll figure it out. So, um, because, yeah, I, I looked at my own psychology, my all my stuff back. It's like, oh, this doesn't feel so bad, right? Because my, my loss was, like, minus four, but then when you get it back, mostly, and it's like, oh, it feels like I've gained something, when I actually didn't gain anything, right? I just didn't lose anything. So it's actually pretty interesting how to manipulate a person's psychology by doing something like that. And thus, you know, make my game more uh, enjoyable despite having a uh, kind of hardcore PvP element to it. Because it's going to have to have that, right? But you'll have other options too. Right? Because Tarkov does not have that option. You have to do full PvP. 
So, um, you know, which normally does not work, but Tarkov does make it ha uh, work. But it's still too stressful. So, you know, that's why I'm making my game. Anyway, uh, searches. Oh, yeah. I mean, where are we at? Ten minutes? Yeah, I was also doing more, uh, like, work on, you know, my Twitter, right? You know, listening to Nick Fuentes. He just went over, uh, you know, Michelle Malkin being uh, tortured by all the fake right and, you know, grifters and uh, conservative ink. So, obviously, we're... Trying to defend mommy uh, Michelle Malkin, right? Because she's really, she really did put it on the line. A lot of people don't, right? Because they are maintain their brands and uh, their money. Uh, and of course, I'm still trying to deal with some anger issues too. Because Nick even does say he's still friends with Ali, you know, the fake right Ali Alexander. I'm assuming, uh, and I don't like that, right? Because I think he's a liar. But you know. You know, what are you going to do, right? And I thought I could be wrong, too. But, I mean, the way he's treated me very negatively over a course of uh, time, right, does actually indicate to me that uh, I don't think I'm wrong, right? Because I have a good... Because I can read people pretty well, right? And the only reason why he picks on me, Ali, that is, and not everyone else, who also basically associates with people he doesn't like, uh, is because I'm a nobody, or he doesn't think I'm a, a somebody, right? And that's reflected in the way he treated me negatively. And I just don't like that, right? You know, so, you know. Uh, but there's still anger issues with that, because obviously I kind of figure that out. So it's like, mm, you know, you're not supposed to be angry or judgmental. So I don't know. I got I to, gotta like, you know, try to figure it out. And that's where I'm at, because I was looking at Jesse Lee Peterson, um, of course, and then uh, this morning, and then I had to start this video, so... Uh, but yeah, he said, but, uh, let's see, what video am I up to right now? Um, because he's actually got a pretty good playlist here. Oh, wow, I'm up to playlist number, video number 13. So I'll just show you what it is in case you want to look at it, but. Uh, this thing is also something that's always confused me. There is no racism, only love or hate. If you hate one, you hate all. And then I'm only up to, like, two minutes, because the, because there's a black guy in the, in the church session that's asking him, I don't agree with this, but I don't understand it either. And he's about to explain it, so, uh, you, you can take a look at that. Uh, that's interesting stuff. It's interesting stuff. It should help, uh, it should help guide me, but I mean, I'm pretty sure I won't be able to figure out the actual answer until after I forget after I let my parents know that I forgive them. I still have to do that because I you just need to take my time and, you know, not rush things. And right, now, and right now, I don't have any problems with my mom and dad, so. And in fact, my long-lost brother actually finally contacted me, you know, and luckily it's not because, you know, Donald Trump bad. It's just because he doesn't, he doesn't check that email anymore. So uh, all is good. All is uh, good, you know. Uh, God's working his magic. Um, so, you know, I just... Got to keep it proving, right? And I'll deal with the uh, deceivers later, you know? So, anyway, uh, Bitcoin searches for this week is at 10. So, it's actually starting to decline a bit, not surprisingly. Uh, it looks like the markets are actually on an upswing today. So, because I was stressed for time, I didn't look at it before. What? Uh, okay. What? Oh, I think there's something about coin market cap. Okay, then. Well, I guess we're going to have to go to coin gecko. Uh, all right, so data is completely jammed. Uh, so we cannot really use any of these uh, whatever is well, at least 24 hour volume. Uh, I still remember you like this would be considered high ish where it's 90 billion. So, but it's been a while, all right, because I, I don't know what's wrong with coin market cap. Uh, dominance is at 63.8% for Bitcoin. Bitcoin itself is up substantially. Now it's at 9,077. You can see on the right hand side, uh, everything's just going straight up. Uh, very, very good. Litecoin is up 4.8% uh, or so. It's at $62.36. That's very good. Hey, I suspect that the markets were up today because 404 coin is tanking. Uh, two by two is also doing all right and then gmc it's actually it was on the it was actually skyrocketing and now it's back down to four to five still pretty good uh oh we're over here uh doggy coin is 307.3 million market cap oh by the way bitrex is just straight up scam don't use that exchange like they wasted my time yesterday and they kept throwing me loop after loop after talking with a uh, like you need this verification. Oh, this should be. And, and it, it was just like, like it's like, can you just send me my fucking money back? And it's just like, 
Now they want my social security number, but then I can't even submit it because the system won't let me. But even if they did, I still wouldn't because I'm not handing these assholes thing. And then, and then uh, I should know better, but a, a phishing account on Twitter contacted me. Uh, luckily, uh, the only thing he'll get from me is my email address. So he'll probably try to brute force uh, the passwords. But, I mean, I use uh, I use a pretty strong password on all these uh, uh, exchange sites, so he, he's going to be brute forcing for a long time, and it definitely does not use because I only use weak passwords on websites I don't give a shit about. So even if they get it, it's like, oh, okay, well, whatever. It's <laughs> it's whatever. It's, it, it doesn't contain any uh, information, you know. So because you can't really hide your email address eventually, right? You know, uh, hackers will always get access to that, but it's the password. Uh, that matters. So, you know, just try to use different passwords everywhere. Uh, yeah, so dog calling, blah, blah, blah. Um, uh, Steam is at 19.41 cents. So, uh, blocktrades.us is going to be down for a while until uh, the Steam thing is resolved. Um, but so far, the Steam community is rallying quite well. So, in the meantime, I guess I'll just enjoy Steam uh, going up in price. So it's up 2.2%, Litecoin's up 4.7%. So yeah, I'll still make more, so I'll still be able to buy more Steam. And then Dogcoin's up to 3.2%. So look at that nice 45 degree angles going straight up. Uh, yeah, so basically what this means is everything should be going up. However, 404 Coin's going to start taking a pounding. Because now you can see everyone's starting to dump their 404 Coin now. Because now they want to chase the capital gains. Uh, it's, it's such a shitty fate, but... That's just how it goes. So, uh, Bitcoin go Wow. Wait, what? What's going on? Oh, I thought the... Yeah, if you look at the... F wow. So, cryptocurrency is way up. Stocks drop after California declares state of emergency. Uh, okay, so today is a bloodbath. So, all the gains from yesterday are basically getting wiped out today. Uh, and everyone's going back into cryptocurrencies as a safe haven. Oh yeah, I closed CoinGecko, but we already saw the picture, so. Um, I assume this has to do with coronavirus. Yeah, I love how they force me to, I'm gonna mute the site. Wait, the site is muted, right? Yes. Stocks drop after cover over coronavirus. Um, okay, so. Okay, I don't care about Elizabeth Warren. Okay. Still escalating a coronavirus. Yeah, right. See, again, everyone's so paranoid with coronavirus. It's really not that big of a deal. All right, unless, let's see. How many people have died? U.S. ran out of COVID-19. That's 11th death confirmed. We're actually doing all right. Only 11 people have died from this. Of course, we're going to expect more deaths. And, of course, anyone who dies is... You know, it's unfortunate, but I mean, it's a disease. So, I mean, <laughs> like I said, stock up. And then if your time is coming up, you know, make get right with God because you don't have much time left. Um, fear of corona. Okay. Corona, uh, countries in Tesla have to halt the outbreaks. Yes. Fears of corona have canceled tech conferences, kind of sports and more. That's actually good because most of these things are uh, uh orgies of satanic pleasure right well except like tech conferences that's actually just people just talking about geek shit um so coronavirus i mean they could be sleeping around afterwards but uh, i don't know i mean in the era of me too like you know you're you you they're just gonna accuse you of false rape accusations so just uh just don't sleep with women Coronavirus vaccine is the only thing that could keep the bull market alive, veteran trader. Yeah, I mean, they will. Okay, so scientists were close to coronavirus vaccine years ago, then the money dried up. So I assume this is a NPC fake news terrorist hit against Donald Trump. Well, I get a refund, I take it my events are canceled. Um, they actually should, but I guess because, but I guess if it's like a satanic um, event, they should not get their money back just as punishment for doing uh, satanic stuff. Uh, coronavirus case confirmed in Tennessee. Uh, yeah, probably from the Middle East, right? Because Iranians and um, Kurds. So that's like the Middle East region, probably. Cruise ship in, or Italy, too, actually. Uh, Iran says coronavirus may have been caused by uh, U.S. biological attack. 
Yeah, that's actually true. Um, uh, what should I call it? it? Like again, I've always said that this is probably like it started with SARS. That was a bio weapon, right? Most Chinese people believe that. Uh, it got released in China, <clears throat> and then decades later, like as of a few months ago, uh, Chinese were trying to develop a uh, vaccine for SARS and things like it. And then they have COVID nineteen, and then it, again, a Chinese scientist screwed up for somebody screwed up and it got released in wuhan uh and then now we have this outbreak so uh you know what i actually like this fo the fact that fox news is covering that i am actually going to tweet this out uh too lazy to even go to my own thing did he say anything new iphone what nice uh i actually better not i really want to play this most of, of the ones who do show up is not is not enough so that will be an interesting dynamic to see um and you know should bernie manage to nab the the nomination uh you know fighting for, fight you know he's gonna have to fight for his life for it should he manage to get it okay all right i had a feeling that was what was going to happen i had a feeling that was what was going to happen uh yeah all right all right God damn! I do want to watch it because it's going to be hilarious, but it's going to be possibly turn. Actually, I should be safe on. Um, it should be safe on. Uh, Purple Heart recipient denied his rights. All right, I'm going to start working now. What's that? I'm going to start working now. No, 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 you can't go back here. Huh? No, I'm working out. No, no, no. Huh? What? Huh? I'm just gonna start working out. No, 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 this is, you can't. Yeah, you a member? No. Yeah, you can't come in here. Oh, it's no, members but, only. no, but I'm gonna work out here. No, you can't. It's members Why? only. Yeah, he's not a member. Um... It's members only. Okay, but I wanna work out. No, you can't. I wanna get pussy. Okay, get out. Out, 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 Don't touch me. Out, 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 Don't touch me. I'm going in. Private property. Mom, you got a camera on your head. I wanna work out. Out, This guy keeps touching me. Dude, out. Leave. Can I work out? Out. No, you can't get some You got a workout going on. Go. Yeah, he also has a camera. You can't do that. Call the cops. What did I do? Out. Out. Dude. By the way, this is a uh, where, this is a place where people lift weights, so testosterone's high. There's still real men here, like this guy. Like, wh what are you doing? Um, I'm not afraid of you. You're short. Little so, little people aren't intimidating. Okay, leave. You're a manly. I don't know, I don't know. Whoever this guy, whoever this camera guy is, he seems to be like an asshole. Like he's. I mean, I get that he's a veteran, I guess, but I don't know. Like, I I, I wasn't aware that um, veterans were supposed to get free stuff like that. Uh, well, Nick Fuentes follows him. Uh, denies gain. I believe your ability run like common dirt. Uh... I don't know. I don't like this. It's like, now, see, here's the thing. We all bashed John McCain, right? And Dan Crenshaw for doing this exact same type of behavior. Now we're supporting it. Uh, I don't know. This is... this. Um, okay. Uh, and then I did my barbaric Yelp. Oh, my God. Uh, tasty hot pizza check. Well, okay, can you pick that up? Push five and uh, okay. <laughs> so that's interesting. Nick Fuentes is going after Charlie Kirk with this. America is a place all over hot happy You could go to the other end. As long as T I P, it would be America. Okay, I think I know what he's doing. I'm just gonna watch his D live thing. Uh, there's a black line I know that we're not supposed to talk about it, but I do because I don't give a damn anymore. Yes. Oh, wow. We're actually calling out OANN. Yes. Yeah, this is why I don't uh, trust Jack Posobiec either because he works uh, for OANN and he's part of the fake right as well. Which is why I don't like Ali Alexander as well. Like, I don't know why Nick Fuentes doesn't see, the, see that as a problem. 
Uh, but you know, we'll keep an eye out. Um, mm, okay. Well. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, uh, death my career. Yeah, every time fail again. Okay. Uh, for various pain, we shipped our part of medical manufacturer to China. We really we shipped out pharmaceuticals and medical. I thought it was just manufacturing jobs. Yeah, all right, I'll go. Yeah, I can kick the Harvard China account. Out. Shows how insincere this nonsense is. Yes. Uh, guy said, and we're going to kick the deal of the tweet. Just learn I hate when. Uh, uh, <laughs> Oh man, there, there's a war going on because of the whole Michelle Malkin thing. So yeah. Anyway, Iran is saying the COVID nineteen virus is a U.S. biological attack. They might not be too far off from the truth. Okay. All right. All right. Well. There's a lot of action going on apparently, so I'm gonna add that to my Chrome. So anyway, uh, let me see. So, checking have your services. Mommy is okay. Um, I gotta admit, I really want to see uh, attractive-looking women. I assume is in this YouTube video, but um. Uh, Oh, I see. Is that annoying people at work for fun? I don't know. Um, eh, it just seems kind of weird. Yeah, cool gamer at gym. I don't know. I have a feeling I might not like this guy. He seems to be doing some sort of exploitation here. Uh, he's also filming people that are basically private citizens, so you shouldn't really be doing that. Um, yeah, all right, we're just good. Okay, let's see. God tier edit and get away from. Okay, yeah. So I I don't know why he's following him. Um, there there seems to be something really wrong with him. All right. Anyway, where we are at? Yeah. All right. So anyway, markets are down. Wow, 27 and a half minutes. That was a fun little digression, wasn't it? Um, yeah, so, all right. So, is this, thing, is this site working yet? All right, there we go. All right, so cryptocurrency is skyrocketing. If I didn't actually know any better, I'm actually beginning to think that cryptocurrencies might be a leading indicator of where rich investors are going to go. So, they're going, so they're dumping money into crypto now. Because they don't want to just sit on endless cash, especially with the Fed uh, rates now being um, cut uh, half a percent. So they want to start making some money somewhere, right? But you know they feel that stocks are obviously just too uh, too volatile, especially with this coronavirus stuff. Uh, and yeah, now I remember. We before we move on. Um, uh, okay, hit piece. Uh, okay, the state's first death. Uh, Tennessee coronavirus coronavirus death rate is now three point four percent. Well, who says Trump says? <clears throat> Hunch tells him that's wrong. Says Hunch tells him that's wrong. All right. Uh, Trump better really be careful because he's trying to use that psycho psycho psychology persuasion bullshit to deal with the actual virus. Like, my <sighs> God. Uh, but all right, whatever. You know, I mean, he'll, I think he'll. I mean, it looks like Joe Biden's going to steal the nomination, so Trump's going to win pretty easily. I mean, a lot of people, like, believe it or not, like, say several thousand people in America will have to die from COVID nineteen in order for Trump to lose the election. Um, I just don't see that happening. It's definitely possible, of course. That's that's the fear. But you know, tr like I've always been said, like I've always been saying. The globalists have a huge incentive to put an end to this because now Fox News actually is reporting that this thing could be a bioweapon by Iran. And of course, they're, I already know what the article is going to say. It's a lie or whatever. The fact that they have to cover it shows that a lot of people are starting to ask questions that they're not supposed to be asking because they're, this is bringing them closer to God. It's bringing them closer to the truth. 
And then once that happens, this whole thing blows up in the globalist faces, and that's what we want. That's why they're going after Michelle Malkin right now, uh, as we speak, right? Because we're all like, yeah, like we're all we've all had it, right? And there's nothing the globalists can do. So, uh, we'll, we'll we'll do all right. Um, my laptop seems to be uh, acting up here. Uh, let's see. I have to check what's going on. Did it reboot? Oh, okay. It's just my auto surfer. Uh, okay, that's not bad. Anyway, JMC coins at four to five. Uh, it does look like it's going more towards five to six, so that's pretty nice. A lot of, a lot of, in fact, it did go up to six. Pretty nice chart patterns you can see up here. Four four coin is of course getting shitted on, right? Because now everyone just wants to wants money to buy other stuff. So four. So it looks like. Hmm. Excuse me, it looks like 404 coin is being the dumping grounds for proof of stake coins. So now it's down to five to six, which is unfortunate, but at least things are going up. Everything else is going up, so it's not a total loss. And two by two coin still strong at 66 to 68. So it's actually pretty nice. Uh, pretty nice. Uh, in fact, I don't think I really care too much about. Um, From coast to coast. Okay, I don't care. I'm going to mute this site. I'm just going to use this as the uh, thumbnail, I think. Uh, so, you know, now's a good time. Uh, if you can still buy, now's a good time to buy. Of course, uh, just do your dollar cost averaging, of course. Compound coins at 6150 to 7300. So, surprisingly, compound coins actually being pretty stable. And um, it's starting to weaken a little bit, but at least it's a lot better than before. Now we can definitely reliably get 6,000 to 6,150 Satoshis of a dollar coin for our compound coins. So that's pretty nice, especially in my case, because Bittrex just scammed me out of $24 worth of dog. So uh, those, those evil pieces of shit. New York Power Plant is mining 50k worth of Bitcoin a day. Um, a New York Power Plant? Uh... Wow, that's a pretty uh, mind belt on an industrial scale. Wow, and they own natural gas. Behind me are power generally there's all the basic cost of production. Can the director of the green, of course, it's an Asian man doing this. Uh, said and stated that initiative would provide potential unique exposure to both the crypto and energy markets. This is so fucking next level of high IQ. I love it. I love it. So far, it's part of an extent to 65 million renovation of the power plant. Yeah, because you're cre cause in North Dakota, they must have figured this out uh, by now. And then, like, the area in Canada north of North Dakota. It's North Dakota, right? North Dakota. Yeah. Um, yes. Around And then Winnipeg and, well, I don't know about Regina, but, yeah, whatever this area is, this is where fracking is very high. They generate so much electricity that they actually have to deliberately burn away electricity just to prevent themselves from actually exploding from too much energy storage. So if you port that towards Bitcoin mining and anything similar to that, like traditional mining, oh yeah, you're gonna be making even more money, baby. So uh, pretty nice. Finally, plants can generate natural gas with both federal and state approval. Uh, they, they said they would start mining Bitcoin because costs are already low and predictable. Plan would say they are in a favorable market position and believe they will remain profitable even after the halving event takes place. Yeah, it's gonna howl. That means you're gonna be. That means eventually Bitcoin will have to, you know, skyrocket in price. Uh, blah 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 blah. That's actually pretty awesome. Now they're mining Bitcoin. <laughs> uh, actually, we're gonna. Uh, um. Actually, I kind of oh, okay. I don't. I don't want to leave Google News here. All right. So now we're gonna have a hard decision. Do we want to make this thumbnail or the Iran thing? Yeah. <laughs> I have to make sure I also include the word Fox News so that like YouTube doesn't flag this video as a uh, conspiracy theory, right? So where is? Oh, here it is. Quantumly threatens Bitcoin. Oh, that's probably the uh, quantum computing. That's not going to be an issue. Uh, you should avoid Bitcoin like the plague, says Steve Hankey. Uh, he's an evil billionaire, probably American professor. Yeah, he's 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 just an evil globalist. So he can he can go suck dick. New York Power Plant mines 50k Bitcoin a day. Um, Coin Telegraph is covering the same story. Uh, technically, this is a better thumbnail, right? Uh, 
But do I want a animated thumbnail or... Yeah, I'm going to go with the realism pic picture. If I didn't have access to this picture, I would use the animated one. Because I want people to actually see that it's actually happening. Uh, of course, uh, Doge. If I, get a, if I ever get a dog, I'm going to get a glassy golden retriever dog and a, and a Shiba Inu. That, that's, that's what a Doge is. Like the two best, the two best dogs in the world, in a way. I know some of you are probably dog owners. You're like, well, my dog is pretty best and awesome too. I'm not trying to make a judgment. It's just like I just want, I just want, I just like a big furry dog. Okay, that's just like genuinely happy, like all the time. Which I guess means all dog, pretty much most dogs are actually like that, right? But I just want, I just want my own little Lassie dog, all right? Just ever since I was a kid, I, I don't even remember the show Lassie. I just remember I just saw the show. Right. I'm, very, I'm obviously very like emotionally attached to the concept of Lassie, so it'd be kind of nice to have like you know my own golden retriever. Of course, that's gonna be a lot of maintenance too, because I think there's something called shedding, and then like the golden retriever just sheds hair all the time at a certain point. My freedom at stake, more Hong Kong RC Bitcoin's unique value, of course. Um, uh, power plant story again. Uh, that's like also covered in Yahoo Finance. Uh, okay, so that's old news. So I think we're gonna end it pretty soon here. Uh, we're already running at 36 minutes. Solution better Microsoft AMD chain like on board. Consent that E and I roll out Ethereum solution protecting business assets. So that's pretty good, and Microsoft's in on it too. Um, so believe it or not, once Microsoft gets pretty good down the line, I could probably use Microsoft's PlayFeb Ethereum blockchain implementation to like you know accept cryptocurrency. Um, but I mean, at that point, it's going to be years from now, so I'm already probably going to have a private solution already developed, hopefully, with coin, uh, coinpayments.net. Busted YouTuber is now embroiled in a Bitcoin plot that leaves a hundred... Okay, uh, it's a ringleader of a band of something, so I assume drugs or something. Crypto whales, blah, 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 buying loads of Ethereum. Trading search incoming, India unbans cryptocurrency. Oh, that's the other thing too. Now that India, un I completely forgot about that. Now that India has unbanned uh, cryptocurrency trading, there's probably a lot of Indians now buying up some cryptocurrency. That could actually be a big thing too. So that might be propping up the markets. Um, actually, is this working? Uh, well, the 24-hour volume is very low at 133.7 billion, so no, it's not quite Indians uh, skyrocketing this, but definitely something skyrocketing this, and quite frankly, I just don't care. I just want to make some money, finally. Uh, store fear, Boba. Alright, so, um, yeah, we'll make this a thumbnail. I'll shove this and the Iran bioweapon thing, um, so it's going to be hilarious. Anyway, if you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from. Or on my YouTube's at youtube.com forward slash uh, JMC Radio. Just make sure you smash that subscribe button on this uh, right-hand side of this page. So that we can uh, grow the channel, right? And it's going to be pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. All right. So I've been getting really... Um, just don't feel like learning any more coding because I just want to make my game. But there's a little bit more that I have to learn. It's just... You know, uh, it's just a grind, so I'm just going to keep grinding. In fact, I can't remember the last time I took a day off from coding. Uh, but since I'm just watching the video, uh, I'm, I'm probably not going to take a day. I'm just going to try to just grind through it. If I get, if I get really uh, burnt out, I'll just, take the, I'll just take the mental day off and just not uh, uh, do any more uh, course coding learning. Um, so, because again, now that I'm just watching it, just watching the videos, it's a, it's a, it's a lot easier. So, you know, I'll, I'll eventually get through it. Then I'll get my Playmaker add-on for Unity, start making the game, uh, and that will require me to learn how to use Playmaker as well. And then of course, with my knowledge of coding and the course files that I have, I should be able to do, uh, you know, do what I need to. Oh, that reminds me, I, 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 uh, I got, I got to store the, um, I gotta store the course files on my private GitHub so that, like, in case this computer goes down, I'll have the GitHub backup to, uh, you know, restore everything. So I gotta make sure I do that. Anyway, uh, during the day or night, uh, I'm gonna go make food. Uh, I'm starving. Uh, you know, I've actually controlled my appetite by just simply not eating too many of the carbs, right? I just stick to eating uh, limited quantities of ice cream. Uh, along with my fat-free yogurt, uh, it's a very good combination, right? I get the satisfaction with the, you know, uh, pure protein. So, uh, yeah, so I should be losing. So I'm going to try and take an accelerate my weight loss yet again. 
because I'm just I was getting sick and tired of being stuck at the low 170s. Uh, it, it's time to power power level my weight loss, right? So you know, because uh, I don't think my inflammation will totally go away until I drop down naturally to 150 pounds. So that's like another 22, 23 pounds of body fat I gotta lose, right? So. Uh, yeah, so anyway, see you all in tomorrow's video. Thanks for watching and uh, again enjoy the cryptocurrency gains You know enjoy the stock market buys because right now I don't have any more cash in my stock market account. Everything's already been uh, bought out. So uh, Yeah, you're looking to pick up stocks, right? Your favorite stock. Yeah, you know, now's a good time to buy Oh, in fact, there's one more stock RF stock Oh, there's still $14 uh, 4.42 dividend yield. Yeah, I'm actually gonna think about buying this stock um yeah it's generally pretty stable actually that's actually pretty good uh they're actually like a mid-sized bank you know 13.42 billion um and i believe it's because they also uh they also weathered the uh 2008 2009 crisis quite well because uh because that, that shows me that these guys are very competent people so stable stock price so yeah i would do cover calls on these guys 14 11 cents march 20 well actually it's only two weeks out so we need uh april 17th 37 30, yeah that's a pretty good that's a pretty good dividend uh if i only go safe i would say do it at 16 dollars if i uh 16 dollars strike if i don't want Oh wow, the bid to ask is eleven to thirty-three cents. So I could definitely get twenty-two dollars per one hundred. Yeah, I would. Yeah, I actually need to start. I should start. I should start stocking up on uh, RF stock. Actually, yeah, this is actually really. This is really good. This is a really good. Sixteen dollars out. There's no way this thing's gonna go up two dollars. Um. At least not not that quickly, right? I mean, it could still happen, but in this case, if I bought at fourteen dollars a share, I'm forced to take a two dollar profit per share. If I get uh, if I get uh, I forgot what it's called, but you're forced called or you get called on your margin. No, not called on margin. You get called on your option or something. I forgot what the term was. It's been a while since I did this, but basically, you are forced to sell because because that's what the rules are. Right? You're selling the you're selling the obligation when you're doing a cover call to sell at a certain price. That certain price is called the strike price, so that's sixteen dollars. So yeah, very good. All right, I'm gonna start. I got to stock up on RF stock. I I I obviously favor investing in banking stocks and cash flow stocks. So that's why I like banks, finance, and real estate, right? Because that's exactly what they do. And of course, technology stocks would work too. But right now, tech stocks are so expensive, right? Because Microsoft is how much is Microsoft stock right now? Yeah, one hundred sixty nine. Point seventy, yeah, one hundred sixty nine dollars and seventy one cents. Like, in order to do a covered call, I need to spend seventeen grand, right? Because I need a hundred shares of this. Whereas RF stock, a uh, hundred shares is only fourteen hundred dollars. Yeah, I can come up with fourteen hundred. Technically, I could come up seventeen grand, but that's a significant chunk of my uh, reserves. So I'm not going to do that. Um, especially if four four coin keeps going down. So. Anyway, see you all in tomorrow's video. Thanks for watching. And there's the thumbnail set. So yeah, ramble is over. Johnson Chan, JFC coin, 404 coin. And there's our thumbnail.